of ministers meeting is underway in Pretoria. Council Chair and Minister of International Relations and Corporations, uh, Dr. Lindiwe Sisulu, and the Executive Secretary of SADC, uh, Stegomina Tags, will make their closing remarks. And our reporter, Ntagwana Ngadane, is standing by. Ntagwana, a very good afternoon to you. Do tell us what can we expect uh, from the proceedings this afternoon. Well, good afternoon, Alicia. The whole of today were, was closed sessions at the SADC meeting of the Council of Ministers, but we expect that any time now, the chairperson, that is Minister of International Relations, Lindy Wesisulu, as well as the Executive Secretary of SADC, Dr. Stegomina Tex, will come out and in here they will give us a sense of the discussions that they've had over the past two days. And I think among things that we can expect to hear is those programs uh, and uh, uh, programs that SADC is expected to implement, programs that were decided by various bodies of SADC, including the summit, and that is the meeting of heads of state and government. And um, the meeting here, the ministers are the executives, they are the ones who implement what SADC decides at the summit. So we'll hear what the latest is. But of course, I think other things that we, ex we can expect to come out of this meeting are the changes that have happened in the region. You know that there was regime change, uh, regime change in Zimbabwe. We have a new president there we have a new cabinet in fact and um, the new minister of uh, foreign uh, affairs or international relations of Zimbabwe attended the meeting he left earlier on today but also um, Lesotho is on the agenda we know that there's a standby force uh, in, in Lesotho that has been deployed by SADC and also we expect to hear if they said anything about the DRC and other countries we know that uh, there will be a handover of government in Botswana on the 1st of April President Ian Khama is stepping down and handing over to President Mukwezi Masisi. But also, Zimbabwe is going to elections. What is uh, SADC expected to do? Is it Will it deploy an observer mission or will it do more than deploy an observer mission? So perhaps these are some of the things that we can expect to hear from this meeting. Alicia? All right, Ntakwana, look, this SADC Council of Ministers meeting was actually preceded by the meeting of the SADC Standing Committee early today. Maybe outline for us what, what issues came out uh, during that uh, sitting. Well, Alicia, we have yet to find out, as I say, when they deliver that statement, what it is that they discussed over the last two days, because all of those meetings were closed, except for snippets that we had from the ministers as we were talking to them one-on-one. -on -one. For instance, earlier this morning, we spoke to the minister from Lesotho. Like I said, Lesotho is on the SADC agenda, and we will expect perhaps to find out the role going forward of the facilitator, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa, if it was discussed here, or um, if uh, anything additional to what Sarak is already doing in Lesotho will happen. We also heard from the minister this morning that he might be looking to have a bilateral meeting that is a one-on-one -on -one with the Minister of International Relations here in South Africa, Dr. Lindy Wesusulu, because there is a looming border closure, shutdown mm. um, of the borders between Lesotho and South Africa. Protesters saying that they are not happy with the treatment that they get from staff at the borders between the two countries. So the minister saying that he's looking to discuss this with his counterpart and see if they can avert that shutdown because it will be detrimental not only for movement between the two countries but for business. So these are just some of the issues that we make out and when we spoke uh, uh, to, the de to the spokesperson of the Department of, inter of international relations to get a sense of their reaction uh, and whether they were in fact uh, planning to have that meeting with Lesotho. He said to us, uh, to us that this particular briefing that we're expecting to happen here today will outline all of that. Alicia? All right, and Takwada, maybe just uh, to ask you this, I mean, we know that the issue of uh, the land expropriation here in South Africa has actually received quite a lot of, uh, uh, attracted a lot of uh, publicity. Do you know if uh, this was uh, any of the discussions that was uh, tabled at any of the sittings today? Well, we don't know, but we know that other countries in the region, for instance, Namibia that uh, SABC spoke to um, a few days ago, is also going through a similar process. So mm -hmm. it is very likely that perhaps because of the international attention yeah. that this issue has received, you will remember that this Department of International Re Relations even issued a statement um, to rebuke what was said by Australia in response to what they were calling false claims out in the media about how South Africa is handling this issue. Mm. So perhaps um, SADAC will have its say on the issue um, 
taking the side of South Africa or speaking for South Africa in terms of how it's handling this issue. But also because it's a regional issue, maybe it will come up or maybe they will congratulate South Africa in terms of taking the decision that it has taken mm -hmm. or make a comment um, on the issue seeing as how much attention it's getting. Alicia? Thank you so much. Ntakwane will definitely try and touch base with you once uh, that closed uh, city council um, uh, mini ministers meeting is actually done. Uh, Ntakwane Ngatan is joining us from Pretoria and uh, she was giving us a rundown of what is, uh, has actually come out of that sitting and what is expected to come out of that closed session. Let's take a quick break your sports news.